This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, Steve Harvey, man, is definitely not the father or husband that he portrays himself to be. Now, this is certainly not a smear campaign against him in any way, but as a blogger, you have to unearth the truth and give it to your viewers raw and uncut. So allegedly, Steve Harvey has seen quite a few of my videos and he wants to put out a gag order on me because of my knowledge about his real life. Now, let's start with the first fact. Steve Harvey was not married three times. It was actually four times that he was married. Now, he got married back in 1978 when he was around 20 or 21. And the lady he was briefly married to, no other information is made available about her, only her name, which is Carol Fulton. And they married in California which ironically was just four years after he graduated from Glenville High School in 1974 at the age of 17, and he then went and attended Kent University and West Virginia University. Now, it looks like during college or right after college, he quickly fell in love and got married. Now, he didn't uh, perform his first stand-up comedy performance until 1985, but it's just amazing how Carol Fulton, now named Carol Yvonne Lasley, was quickly scrubbed from his bio to appear that his first wife was Marcia Harvey. But as the Lionel B show uncovered, that was a lie. Mm. He was actually married four whole times. Now there have been reports of Steve Harvey's alleged child abuse against his son, Wenton Harvey. And close sources to the family and Mary Harvey indicate that Wenton's abuse was so terrible that he could not pee on his own for two weeks. And furthermore, his back had so many bruises that it appears like he was beaten like a slave, the way that his back was open and exposed. Now, the reason why none of this information has been released is because Steve Harvey actually made his third wife, Mary, sign an NDA and gave her a decent sum of money to keep her mouth closed. Now, y'all that aren't familiar with NDAs, they are very much like settlements and both parties have to actually sign them. Now, also... TMZ did bring out the story, man, but those rumors were quickly debunked, of course, because if you got enough money, you can make news appear or disappear. And it was at this moment that I subscribed to the Lionel B Show on YouTube. Now, I do have official documents with me, courtesy of Essie Berry. Now, for y'all that aren't familiar with Essie Berry, man, she's the widow of Fred Berry, a.k.a. Rerun from What's Happening TV Show. Now, Essie Berry is a good friend of Mary Harvey and also served as a power attorney for her when she was going through some tough times. Now, also look out for our upcoming video it will be featured on my show. In the official divorce decree and modification request, it indicates that it is in my belief that Mr. Harvey knowingly and willfully lied to Mary as well as to the courts. Mr. Harvey did not fully disclose assets. He lied about the status of the yacht, $800,000 did not include or list all of his companies. Now, Mary and Steve actually shared the same divorce attorney, which is absolutely a conflict of interest and unethical by any attorney. At least it should be. Now, he also conveniently had her place in a mental war, bro, back in 2006. And as soon as she was released, he divorced her. But not before. Are you looking for a new or used car? Lionel B is a proud new partner at Car Marshall. And if you're searching for a new or used car, click on the link below in my video description. And carmarshall.com will help you find and negotiate buying a new or used vehicle. Simply enter your zip code, bad credit, good credit, no credit, and let Car Marshall get you rolling today. Or hooking up with Marjorie sometime before her stay in the nut house. Now, Steve's second wife, Marcia, in her official divorce decree released by Radar Online, clearly states that Marcia Harvey conducted herself as a good and dutiful wife towards Steve, but that he, on the contrary, has been guilty of gross neglect of duty and extreme cruelty that will be more fully set forth at the trial. She does go on to indicate that he lived 
separate from her for more than a year, which clearly he was already kicking it with Mary Harvey at that time. And he was already hiding money and depositing them into Mary's bank account so he could also leave Marcia with nothing. He had several accounts placed all over the place when he was doing the Showtime at the Apollo. And he was actually having her kind of funnel the money over there. Now, does it sound like the act like a lady, think like a man type of icon that gets women riled up and inspired? Ask yourself if this is anyone you would actually like to have representing your culture or teaching you how to be in a relationship. Do you have problems with ashy skin, lips, or your face? Visit ashkicking.com today. They provide 100% natural handcrafted products to bring back that glow. Hair moisturizers, deodorant for those pits, lip balm for those lips, and amazing air fresheners and incense. Lionel B stays on point with ashkicking.com daily. Visit them right after this video. Now, Steve Harvey's fourth wife, of course, Marjorie Harvey, the one that's been all in the news um, about her ex-husband and his alleged uh, ties to being an actual kingpin and also her ties to the dope gang as well. She actually tried to do some PR control and she actually bribed and got down with Hollywood life to try to clear her name and also to try to clear out the whole the divorce rumor thing. Now, basically, man, she admits that she doesn't pay any mind to the outside chatter and she claims to be prayed up and she said prayer works and that we're covered. Now, Marjorie seemed to actually address the divorce rumors in a video that she posted on Instagram on May the 4th. And the clip begins with Steve Harvey's 28 year old son, Broderick Harvey, telling the couple he heard that they are splitting. Then uh, reportedly, Marjorie and Steve then look at one another and start laughing off the claims. And the video ends with the two engaging in a playful back and forth about the rumors, which I'm about to play the clip for y'all right now. Y'all was getting a divorce. I just read that online. Is that true? Yeah, I read that too. You leaving me? We get a divorce. You leaving me? I mean, I I read it, but well, well, so. But if you leaving, what was you gonna tell me? I didn't know I was leaving. I just found out I was leaving. I, I just read it online. I read it too. Where are you reading at? I don't know. I read it somewhere. Well, when they say we getting a divorce though? I don't know, Stephen. When are we supposed to be getting one? They said y'all was getting ready to do it right now. Again? They say we broke too. We ain't got no money. You uh -huh. got you got to take all it back. I mean, I'm not ready to do it. Y'all got to filter on this where we can change the color where it look like she ain't wearing what you gonna do, baby? I mean, I mean we ain't got no money? money. All the money go. That's what the, that's what they said. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I gotta go did, tell Did you. you spend all of it or I spent all of it? And y'all can believe the acting if you want to. Come on, man. And it's nothing but an act. I mean, Steve Harvey has been an actor for quite some time. If y'all believe it, man, like I said, just stick to the script, man, and the truth will eventually come out. You know what I'm saying? Of course, she's trying to protect the investment, they're trying to protect their interests. But he's still steadily losing shows like he's dropping weight from cancer right now. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what the truth is. It is all clearly smoke and mirrors. And they want to steer the narrative to make you believe it's all good. However, ask yourself, if it were all good, why would bloggers purposely take aim at Steve Harvey or his alleged divorce? Now, I have nothing personal against him. And I do feel like it was a actually terrible that he lost his two shows to Caucasian women. But it does not change the fact that he's an abuser as a father and an awful husband. Now, I remember years back when he playfully joked on his radio show that any of his sons were to come at him some type of way, or if any of them wanted his title belt, then they could step to him. Now, it appears that clearly Wenton Harvey wanted the belt, and you see what that got him. Abused with one of Steve Harvey's frat paddles like he was some type of third world prisoner being held on drug charges. Children should not be beaten nor beaten to within inches of their lives. Now, his wives have already exposed him for being abusive, neglectful, and a common thug with no morals. But yeah, I know some of you in the comments will of course defend him. Marcia even said in her divorce decree that she was praying for a divorce. Not asking for a divorce. She was praying for a divorce. Now, who in their right mind would pray for a divorce from an upstanding man 
that likes to throw the word Jesus around and Heavenly Father all the time on his radio show like he's really about that life. Not sure people have a past and we should forgive and look past certain things. However, he has not changed or mended his greedy, hypocritical, or selfish ways at all. Now, in terms of Marjorie's ex-husband, Jim Townsend, releasing his tell-all memoir about his life with Marjorie Harvey, um, as well as, you know, the things they did in the actual dope game, I'm definitely interested in reading that, man, and seeing if there's any validity to it. Now, I did look up some information on Mr. Townsend, and I do see that he does live in Memphis. Um, he actually currently lives in a $16,000 home. That's the actual total value of the home is $16,000. So he may not be doing that well in the financial department. It may be a ploy to get some money. However, I feel like, you know, he may tell a, a lot of the truth. I can't guarantee he will, but hopefully he will. And man, and it'll just give us a full perspective on exactly who Marjorie is and also her relationships and her marriages between two kingpin cousins that were actually related. So. That's my story today, man. There's definitely more information to come out, man. Y'all look for this new information I will be dropping. I'm telling y'all, man, Lionel B got that T. Also, man, make sure y'all check out my sponsor, man, Cat Beast, man. Make sure y'all hit up their website, man. Get you a custom hat done. Represent, man. If it's for your boo or if it's for yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Go in and style with a custom embroidery hat. Not that iron on screen on cheap stuff. It's really dope. It's an embroidered cap. Make sure y'all check out Cap Beast, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share the videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.